Hi, I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math and today we're going to learn about radical equations and we're going to solve each equation but remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, the square root of x plus 3 equals the square root of 1 minus x. First step, I need to square both sides. Eliminates the square root, giving me with the x plus 3 on the left and 1 minus x on the right. Well, now I'm just adding my like terms. I'm going to add an x to both sides here, and I'm going to subtract a 3 to both sides. These 3's cancel, these x's cancel, leaving me with 2x, which is x plus x, equals 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Divide both sides by 2. Oh, positive 2 to both sides, not negative 2. So I'm left with x equals negative 2 divided by 2 is a negative 1. So, we need to check to see if that's a correct answer, right? So let's check, and also check for that extraneous solution, really. So we have square root of x plus 3. I'm rewriting the equation. Square root of 1 minus x. Let's plug negative 1 in for x. So we have square root of negative 1 plus 3 equals square root of 1 minus, now I'm putting that negative 1, negative 1 in. Negative 1 plus 3 is negative 2. 1, uh, positive 2, oh my goodness, positive 2, oh, I'm going to have this up here. Negative 1 plus 3 is a positive 2. And then 1 minus a negative 1 is 1 plus a positive 1, right? And it's a square root of 2 there. Left and right are equal. Fantastic, right? So that confirms we have no extraneous solutions, and that x equals negative 1 is my final answer. So let's recap. Square root of x plus 3 equals square root of 1 minus x. I squared both sides, eliminating the square root. I'm now left with x plus 3 on the left and 1 minus x on the right. I then simplified, brought my x's to the left, numbers to the right, and got 2x equals negative 2. Divided both sides by 2, leaving me with x equals negative 2 divided by 2, which is a negative 1. I then took my equation, my original equation, and substitute, I rewrote it, and then substituted negative 1 in for both x's. I had negative 1 plus 3 here inside the square root, and then the square root of 1 minus, be careful, minus a negative 1, okay? So negative 1 plus 3 comes out to be a positive 2, not negative. And 1 minus a negative 1 is the same thing as 1 plus a positive 1, which gave me a 2 here inside the square root. So my left and right are equal. So I square root of 2 equals square root of 2, confirming. We have no extraneous solutions, and that my final answer that I had gotten earlier is true, and it's x equals a negative 1.